Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called Looking Out My Back Door by CCR. And we're going to end up capoing on 3rd fret and kind of moving it up to 5th fret, kind of th through the tune. But we're going to start in root position, just kind of walk through all the different parts, and we're going to start on a G major chord. And the way you play G major, 1st finger is going to go to the A string on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger is going to go to the low E on the 3rd fret, and 3rd finger is going to go to the high E on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major chord, we're going to go into an E minor chord. And we play E minor. First finger is going to actually kind of stay on the A string, second fret. And second finger is going to move to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an E minor chord. And it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor chord, we're going to go into a C major chord. And when you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret. Second finger is going to kind of stay on the D string, second fret. Third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord and sounds really, really happy. And then from the C on our intro, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And then we go to a D major chord. And when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, then that sounds a D major chord and sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major chord, we're going to be going back to the G major chord. And that's basically our intro, although at the very, very beginning you'll kind of hear some muting sounds where you may want to take the left hand and kind of mute out the sound of the strings. And if you do kind of a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, kind of a muting thing. That might be a cool way to kind of kick it off too. And then when we go through our intro, actually a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns, and we'll talk about a couple for this song, one of my favorites is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the G and just tried that a lot. We have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we try that through our intro progression. Then we got G, down, up, up, down. actually going to be taking a lot of those things and then mixing it up. So we tried our verse with our strum pattern. We had G down up, up down, G down, down up, up down, E minor down, down up, up down, E minor down, down up, up down, C down, down up, up down, G down, down up, up down, D down, down up, up down, D down, down up, up down, G down, down up, up down, G down, down up. And on our chorus, we're actually mixing up a lot of those same things. So on our chorus, we got D down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down. Instead of starting on a G major, John Fogarty is actually starting on a B flat major chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is kind of take a capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your G major is really a B flat major chord, your E minor is really a G minor chord, your C major is really an E flat major chord, and your D major is really an F major chord. But just to take it from the very, very beginning that way, um, you can kind of start out with that muting idea where we had that down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And then if we try our intro with our strum pattern, we have our G with a down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up.
on our first verse. And we got our G with down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, you might down, down. Your G major would be a C major, your C major or your E minor would be an A minor chord, your C would be an F major, and then your D major chord would be a G major chord. So this is a little weird because now it's kind of kind of changing keys, like right in the middle of the song. But there's a little transition lick where that that kind of comes back in where you could play open A, and then what would have been fourth fret on the low E string, second fret on the low E string, or third fret on the low E string, and then second fret. So I'm thinking A, G sharp, G, F sharp to kind of lead into a D major chord kind of for that transition, which is a little bit like our chorus. So, so for that transition, you've got kind of that muting. And then A, A flat, 
that G, and then we've got the F sharp, and then we're going to end up on a D chord for that part. And if you wanted to, actually, you could even use something called D slash F sharp, which means you've got a D slash F sharp or D major with an F sharp in the bass. One way to play that is to take the first finger and go low E on the second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the high E on the second fret, and the pinky on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a D major but with an F sharp in the bass. And then another way you could kind of play that though is by taking the regular D chord that we've got and kind of taking the thumb and going to the low E string uh, on the second fret. So that might be another option too to kind of kind of work the, the D slash F sharp with the thumb. But then if we take it right after that transition, well, then we'd be right on our D with our down, down, up, up, down, up. So we got our D, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, down up, up, down, C. Which basically is following that same form, but now we got the capo on. So we got our G down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, up. And right on this next part, it kind of slows down, but still following the form of our our verse. So we got G down, up. C major down down up up down G down down up up down D down down up up down G down down up down kind of at the very very end. Now something else I would think about adding to the song though is bass notes, and th this is a little weird, but we could even work in it kind of with that capo on the fifth since we're already there. And a lot of times on the first down of, of each of the chords, you could throw in a bass note for it to kind of simulate playing with a bass player. So for instance, on the G chord, you could play the low E string for your bass and then do your down, up, up, down. So G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down. And on the E minor, you could use the low E string for the bass. So low E bass, down, up, up, down, you have low E bass, down, up, up, down, you have low E bass, down, up, up, down. On the C chord, you could use the A string for your bass. So C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down. And on the D chord, you can use the D string for your bass. D bass, down, up, up, down, up. So we try that through our verse form. We have G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up. We'd have D with a D bass down, up, up, down, D with a D bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, E with low E bass down, up, up, down, D with a D bass down, up, up, down, D with a D bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, E with low E bass down, up, up, down, E with low E bass down. you want to kind of experiment with. For myself, what feels really good with this song though is almost a country feel. And a lot of times what a bass player will do in a country uh, song, will play something called the root of the chord for the bass, just like we're doing now. 
but then they'll alternate that with something called the fifth of the chord. So for instance, on the G, you'd be going G, A, B, C, D, and kind of throwing in a D note, kind of alternating on that. So on the G chord, you could play low E string for your root, and then a down up, and then do the D string for something called the fifth, and a down up for your G chord. So now you got low E, down up, D bass, down up, G with low E bass, down up, D bass, down up, G with low E bass, down up, D bass, down up, on the E minor, you could kind of alternate that. You got the low E string for your bass, and then you can play the A string for your for the, the, kind of alternating. Then that's your fifth. So you got low E root, A string's the fifth, low E root, A string's the fifth. And the weird part is on the C chord, you'd have a G string would be your fifth. So you could do the A string on the third fret for, for your root, and then kind of take the third finger and move it to the low E string for your fifth. So you got A string third fret, low E string third fret, A string third fret. Or low E string third fret, so A string third, low E third, and then for your D chord you'd have the D string for your root, and then the A string would be your fifth. D root, A fifth, D for the root, A for the fifth. So we tried our verse that way. We'd have G with low E root, D string, G with the low E root, D string, E minor with the low E root, A string, E minor with the low E root, A string, C with the A string, or C with the root. carry that over to a hammer on the second fret. So I'm kind of doing a, a double hammer on on the A string, kind of playing open to second to, to, uh, or open to first to second. And then if you go open D string and do a hammer on the second fret and then a pull off right after, so I'm kind of playing the, the open D, putting my finger to carry, or putting my finger down the second fret to carry the sound, and then letting it fall off to get the sound to carry back. And then playing the open G string, and then you could kind of nail just the big G chord at the very end. So you have three, oh, one, two, oh, two, oh, open G, G chord. So if you wanted to, right at the end, you'd have that D chord, G chord. To kind of tag the tune. But that's the basics of how you could strum through Looking Out My Back Door by CCR. So good luck! <laughs>